is 90% of the market go to 10% of the entrepreneurs, service providers, coaches, and consultants? Why entrepreneurs are burning their opportunities every single time, right? So I think there are four reasons why most entrepreneurs struggle. Reason number one is their limiting belief. And I think this is the most important reason because there's not a lot to talk about it, but it's just their own limiting beliefs that they cannot charge enough because what if what if my clients don't buy? What if I lose my client? But my competitors charge cheaper. It's the fear that's creating them to go low on their goals, right? So that's reason number one. It's limiting belief. Then you got reason number two, which is they have very common and easily resistible offers. Meaning your offer is easily available elsewhere and it's just a question of how much you charge and it's a feature versus cost trade-off, right? So one of the biggest challenges you have as a CEO, as an entrepreneur nowadays is how do you differentiate yourself from your competition? How do you stand out with so much competition that's growing out there, like consumers? They, like consumers have uh, more choices than ever, right? So there's so many competitors entering your marketplace. What do you do? The best way I believe is through a blue ocean strategy. Now, what is a blue ocean strategy? Now, I want you to imagine this, that you're competing in an environment where there is a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of competition. So we call that a red ocean, right? There's a lot of sharks in that ocean. There's a lot of blood. And you differentiate yourself by saying, I'm better than everybody else. My products are better than everybody else. My services are better than everybody else. But it may or may not be true. And consumers, they're so confused. They're so skeptical. And they don't know what is good and what is not. Right? And just because you say you're better, well, how do I know? A blue ocean is completely different. Like a blue ocean is finding a market space within the environment that is untapped. It makes the competitors irrelevant. So I want you to think of taxi. Like now the taxi business has been around for a long time, right? So I, I have this taxi company, I have that taxi company. Maybe I charge a little bit less, maybe I charge a little bit more, maybe we have better service. Then guess what? Uber comes along. That's a blue ocean strategy. It completely dis- disrupts that market space. It makes the competitors irrelevant, being disruptive. So I want you to think about what you could do in Blue Ocean. So there are three types of businesses, I believe. The first one is what I call the Me Too business. That's right, Me Too. I'm the same as everybody else. If I put you next to your competition, then the consumers cannot tell the difference. They cannot tell the difference because you look the same as everybody else. Then we got the second kind of business, which I call Me Better. Now what is Me Better? Me better is that you're saying, yes, I'm better than everybody else and I'm better than my competitors. Maybe I've been in business longer than my comp- competition. Maybe I have I have a better team than my competition. Maybe I have my packaging is better than my competitors. My warranty is better than my competitors. Technology better. It doesn't matter. You're saying I'm better and that's me better business. But the best business to be in or at least you want to try to be in is the me only business. How can you be the only person in that space that does what you do? That's what you want to do. That's when you generate tremendous amount of wealth and that's when you can sell high ticket. When you are the only one who does what you do, right? So in a red ocean strategy, you're trying to compete in an existing market space and make sure your competition competition doesn't steal your share. Whereas in a blue ocean strategy, you want to create your own uncontested market space. There, there is no competition, that's irrelevant, right? So in Red Ocean Strategy, you want to beat your competition. In Blue Ocean Strategy, you're making your competition irrelevant. In Red Ocean, you're exploiting the existing demand, what's already there. You're trying to go for your taxi company. I'm also another taxi company, Just going for the same thing. But in Blue Ocean Strategy, you're capturing new demand. Uber, capturing new demand, disrupting the market space, right? Red Ocean Strategy, because there's so much competition, you got to make a value cost trade-off. In Blue Ocean Strategy, it doesn't matter. You can break the value cost trade-off. And the whole system in Red Ocean Strategy, the firm's activities, is aligned with the strategic choice of differentiation and low cost. It's all about cheaper and uh, how many features do you have, stuff like that. In Blue Ocean Strategy, you align your whole system in the pursuit of differentiation. You see the difference? So you're going to make yourself so unique and irresistible to your clients that they don't care about how much they pay you.